determine whether the following systems represented by input output relations are time invariant and invertible here two systems are given we suppose to verify whether the systems are time invariant and invertible let me consider the first example that is y of n is equal to x of n plus x of n plus 1 that is y of n is equal to x of n plus x of n minus 1 first we will consider time invariant property this property says that the shift in the input should provide the identical shift in the output now let me uh, verify in simple way suppose this is a system having system operator say h which has input say x of n the nature of the system is such that it receives input x of n and produces the output say y of n is equal to x of n plus x of n minus 1 it means that the system will add input x of n with another in another value that is x of n minus 1 now let me apply the shift of this signal that is delay by say n naught unit i will apply delay to this signal so each n will be replaced by n minus n naught the output of the system will be say y of n minus n naught is equal to x of n minus n naught plus we have x of n minus n naught minus 1 i will call it as equation 1 So this is the shift in the output signal. Now I will apply the shifted input signal to a system. That is first I will shift the input signal. So here I will swap the systems. So first I will use delay system which provides a delay of n naught in it. Input to the system is say x of n. It provides output as x of n minus n naught it provides a delay of n naught that is x of n minus n naught now if i apply the same signal to the same system the function of the system is it receives input to the input it will add x of n minus 1 therefore the output of this will be this system will be that is i will call it as say y dash of n which is nothing but h of x of n minus n naught which is equal to we have x of n minus n naught plus it will add x of n minus 1 x of n minus 1 i will call it as equation 2 so here we can observe that y dash of n is not equal to y of n minus n naught that is equation 1 is not equal to equation 2 1 is not equal to equation 2 therefore system is time variant or i can say system is not time invariant now we'll see the invertible system the invertible system a system is said to be invertible if the input to the system can be recovered from the system output. Let the system is having operator say h. If we give input to this system say x of n, it produces output y of n which will add x of n minus 1 to the input. So I will get x of n plus x of n minus 1 now to recover the signal x of n from the system y of n we should pass through the another system known as inverse system say assume that it produces the output z of n so to recover x of n from this we perform operation y of n minus x of n minus 1 it means that 
this system will provide minus x of n minus 1 that is it will add the input signal with minus x of n minus 1 then we will get z of z of n which is nothing but x of n so therefore system is invertible now let me consider the sec second example that is we have y of n is equal to x of n u of n first we will verify time invariant whether this system is time invariant or not so consider the system first i will take the system having operator say h if we give input to the system it will multiply input with u of n and produces output y of n which is equal to x of n dot u of n it means this system will multiply x of n with u of n and produces the output now i will provide the shift that is i will shift the output signal this signal by unit n naught that is delay by n naught unit the output will be replace each n by n minus n naught that is y of n minus n naught is equal to x of n minus n naught u of n minus n naught i will call it as equation one now i will swap the systems first i will use delay system that is delay system input to the system is x of n so here we have done delay in the output now we'll provide delay input delayed input to the system that is the output of this, this system will be x of n minus n naught now if i pass this input through the same system having operator say h as we know the function or the characteristic of this function this system is it will multiply input with u of n so here it will produce the output i will call it as say y dash of n which will be equal to the characteristic of this is it will multiply input with u of n so x of n minus n naught is the input it will multiply with u of n i will call it as 2 so here 1 is not equal to 2 therefore system is time variant Now let me consider the system having system operator say h the input to the system is x of n and as we know the output of the system is x of n dot u of n that is this system will multiply the input signal with u of n now i suppose to get back the same signal x of n from this y of n then it should be passed through another system which is known as inverse system so here the function of the inverse system must divide the input signal by u of n then definitely will get x of n so here this system should perform 1 upon u of n operation so that we will get back let me call it as a z of n in that case this will be y of n into 1 upon u of n which will be nothing but the input signal x of n therefore the system is invertible.